Hello, I'm Richard Hunter, Head of Markets at Interactive Investor, and welcome to our look ahead for the week commencing the 2nd of March. And what a difference a week makes. Markets which have been largely indifferent to the outbreak of coronavirus have now taken a rather different view. It's been a very few tough trading sessions over the course of this week. In particular, of course, the FTSE 100 with its constituents, including the likes of mining and oil stocks, let alone the airlines and tourism stocks, had been quite comfortable last week with a decline of just about 1% in the year to date. That figure has now rocketed ahead such that the FTSE 100 is now 8.2% down in the year to date. US markets have also caught up with the news, uh, not helped more recently by the reporting of a, an outbreak of 83 cases in New York. And indeed, for two of the main indexes, uh, the year to date gates, uh, gains have been wiped out entirely. The S&P 500 currently down around 3.5%. The Dow Jones down around 5.5%, quite a contrast to last week. Even the Nasdaq index, which had been up 8.5% in the year to date, now finds itself more or less flat. So turning to next week, we can certainly expect this volatility to continue. The potential for haven chasing by investors, the likes of government bonds and gold. Um, on the economic front, we should have the non-farm payroll in the States on Friday. In the UK, the corporate season is starting to wind down somewhat. There are going to be uh, an update, half-year update from the equipment rental maker, Ashted, a FTSE 100 company. This is a company that's got about 86% of its revenues from the States, so it'll be interesting to see whether they've been able to continue their momentum because the shares have been on a fairly good run up, 26% uh, over the last year or so. Also, some full-year numbers coming from ITV, normally a few pockets of interest to look out for there. They're increasingly important studios business, which is a, a big contributor to their bottom line profits. Also the launch of BritBox, the joint venture with the BBC and how it's faring against the giants of the likes of Netflix and Amazon. Uh, and also, of course, the ITV hub as viewing uh, habits continue to change and people are sitting down in front of the TV less and less as time goes on. One other thing to watch out for next week, after the close of play on Wednesday, the next March FTSE reshuffle is due. As things currently stand, although this could change, it looks as though there will be two stocks promoted in the form of Fresnillo and Intermediate Capital Group, and the two stocks therefore being relegated are looking likely to be NMC Health uh, and also QE Travel, obviously one that's been hit recently by those coronavirus fears. NMC is a slightly more complicated one. The shares were suspended on Thursday, which begs the question of how the tracky, tracker funds are, are going to be able to sell those shares. But the expectation nonetheless remains that NMC will see itself relegated from the FTSE 100. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.